Hello and thanks for checking out Uncensored Tactical. Today is going to be uh, another video. It's going to be both a product review for ITS Tactical's Kevlar Escape Laces. Uh, we're going to do some unboxing and a quick experiment and review of it. And it's also going to be a little more, uh, just a little more of stuff we've already covered for uh, Flex Cuff Escapes. So just another quick take at it. Um, unboxing. So. <clears throat> I got the 54 inch version, which I'm going to go ahead and open up. I love this company. They make a lot of good stuff. I love ordering stuff from them. We got two laces here. And I'm going to check the length against my just a standard pair of kind of gym shoes here. Um, and like they say on their website, you can check the link on our, on our article that we're doing for a review. Um, there will be a link to their website and this product. And like they said, check the length with the shoelaces that you intend on replacing. And I just got their smallest version. They have a 54, a 60, and I think a 72, and they're all around 11 or 12 bucks. Um, so these will fit perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and lace these up in this uh, in my little Reebok kicks here, and we're going to do a quick field test on them. All right, so just like our other video, um, if you haven't seen the Friction Saw Escape yet, go ahead and click our, our channel. This will be in two channels. This will be a product review, and this will be in our escape, a Restraint Escape series, so you can click either. Um, just like any other review, my, one of my favorite methods is I unlace the lace that I intend to use. I slide it through my cuffs, and if I can use gravity, that helps. So I get it through, and tie it short. A small knot, just enough to get around the toe of my other shoe. I've also done this barefoot. It's not, not my favorite thing to do. All right, so we got a workable knot. Hopefully that's enough. And I'll, do, I'll redo it. So I did did say in my other video, it's better to err on the side of having a long cord than a short cord. quick bowlin, try and give myself the longest cord I can while I keep the biggest loop that I can. So when you're purchasing these, it's probably better to buy the pair that's one size too big. So I loop it, I keep constant pressure, and let me see if I can get a good angle for you. pretty quick. All right, so we are out of here. Oh, sorry. So that's the end. I'll try and get a photo or two of that for you to put on my article on the website. Uh, so they work. Let me pause my video and we'll take a look at the laces. All right, so on ITS's website, they say these will not burn. They say something similar. They say the laces are 100% Kevlar, so they won't burn. And while just in one quick test, that looks like that's correct, they will get plastic burning on them, which will coat the lace. So I'm sure that's going to have at least a little bit of an effect on their effectiveness. Um, I'm going to order a bunch more of these, and I'm going to put them really through the ringer, but this is just my first attempt. You can see the lace does not look like uh, it's fresh out of the box. So um, they do, they're really soft. They're flexible, they're soft. I really do like these tips a lot. But as you saw in the earlier video, that as soon as I put some pressure on it, it did give a little bit and it, it bent. Um, I mean, not the worst thing, but it, it's really a godsend to lace up a shoe with these. The other option is, I'm gonna do a video shortly for how to properly use 550 cord and lace it into your boots or your shoes, because a lot of people have snags with that. So I have a system that kind of works pretty well for that. I'll share that with you later in the series. Um, this is the original lace. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick run with this at the end of the video. This is your ITS lace. ITS lace. Um, as you saw, it was effective. It took, what, three or four strokes 
to pop right through that. Oh God, that's what she said. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, quick look. Okay, I've been having iPhone video problems. I use my iPhone to shoot a lot of this video, and uh, hopefully this one doesn't automatically stop recording. So <clears throat> this will be my third attempt with this same ITS lace. So this will be the third time putting it through the ringer. So I'm just going to set up a real basic uh, bicycle kick system here. I'm going to grab some excess butterfly style flex cuff, and this will be number four. All right, and we're out. So that was our fourth attempt with the same lace. So it's got some durability. Um, <clears throat> you can see though that it's that it's painted by, uh, and what that means is some of the plastic has melted onto the shoelace. I can't say that the shoelace is necessarily melted or not, but you can see it doesn't it doesn't look like it's brand new. There's chunks of plastic and a, kind of a coating on it, but it'll still hold my shoes together, and I bet you it'll still go a few more tries. So just for kicks, let's use the basic cloth from my regular old Reebok sneakers. Set up my bicycle kick system. And I'm not going to put it all the way through my hands just to save some time. We're going to see if it even works to begin with. Still recording. All right. So this is basic cloth. You can hear it even sounds different. And what do we got? We have a frayed end. Um, the last take I did before my phone deleted it, um, the cloth did work. So you gotta be careful not to push too hard with your cloth. I'll go ahead and use a second set. But you can see that it's already starting to cut through the plastic. So that it will help in a survival scenario. If all you have is your cloth laces, go ahead and give it a try. And you can even use the excess there to start to uh, do a shorter take on it. And use whatever you got left and make do. So we'll try again. Low battery, great, awesome. Still recording, awesome. So this is cloth. Don't push too hard. Don't keep that tension tight because the cloth will cut. All right, good news. The cloth from original sneakers worked, but like my previous previous experience tells me, and like in my other videos that I stated, sometimes it might take two laces to get through it. <clears throat> and this one that I'm taking off my feet right now looks pretty new. There's just a little bit of plastic coating, but it's not too bad. And just for uh, just for kicks, let's go ahead and do one more. And I will do an original 550 cord shim, so you can see ITS version, regular cloth version, and 550 cord version. Still recording? Yeah. All right, here we go. And you can put a lot of tension on these. They're very cheap. And right through your flex cuff. All right, so that's three different options for, I guess, a, a medium to use to saw through your flex cuffs, but you're using heat. And in my other videos, I talk about kind of how that works and some, some other technique options. So if you haven't seen our other videos, go ahead and give that a shot. Um, this has been my review of ITS Tactical's Kevlar Escape Laces on some standard. These are probably the most popular zip cuffs or flex cuffs I've ever seen in law enforcement. Um, the other most popular brand I think is Safari, which we'll use some of those in the future too. Probably in our next uh, two or three videos from now, we're going to pop into those. All right, thanks for checking us out. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and check out our website too. We put some extra info on there and uh, also pretty active on Instagram. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon.